The Reverend Thomas Williams is a papal expert and a CBS News analyst. Father Williams, you know Pope Benedict. What is he like? Well, he's really a very nice guy. He's very quiet. He's very intelligent, as everyone knows. But he's also a really good listener, a man who loves dialogue and loves a good, deep conversation. Do you think he suffers following in the footsteps of Pope John Paul II? Is it kind of a Gordon Brown after Tony Blair situation? <laughs> I think that's a really good analogy. Yeah, I think he suffers a lot. And I think the very first things that he said when he was elected were, I'm not John Paul II. And he kept saying, you know, we venerate him. He was a great pope. I'm, I can never be that for you, but I'll do the best that I can. The encyclicals that he has issued so far have been quite surprising, haven't they? They have. Um, really, everybody was expecting something really tough because he had been kind of a doctrinal watchdog in his capacity before he was elected pope. And he chose to write about love in the first encyclical, including erotic human love and its relationship to divine love. And that was a big surprise. And the second encyclical was on hope and how to encourage people and how to find your hope in God, something bigger than this life. And that was a surprise. And usually they are much more doctrinaire, aren't they? Usually establishing sort of uh, advice on lifestyle or something more specific? Yeah, usually they, they deal with a concrete issue and lay down kind of the, the way the church understands that. And this was a much broader topic that the Pope chose to undertake. What do you think he'll accomplish with this visit or what do you think he hopes to accomplish? Well, I think he wants to let people know him, know who he is. I think a lot of Americans feel like they don't know who this Pope is yet, and he's coming over to say, here I am, uh, let's talk, um, and encourage Catholics especially, and Christians in general, in the living of their faith. According to a recent poll, about three quarters of Catholics disapprove of how the church dealt with the sex abuse scandals. Even Pope Benedict said he was deeply ashamed. Is enough being done to prevent that from happening in the future? Well, I think the Pope has done everything he could to reassure us right now that they're trying. And I think that he underscored one particular means, which is the screening of candidates for the priesthood. He said on the plane, better to have fewer priests but good priests than a lot of priests but allowing anything. anything. What else can be done, though? Well, the other thing that's being done is actually how to deal with the abusers themselves. The one-strike rule, which says that once a priest has been found to have offended, instead of shuffling him around, giving him another chance, really he has to be removed from the priesthood. So you don't think we'll be hearing about these scandals well into the future? Well, I hope not, Katie. I think that human nature is what it is, and sin will always be am uh, among us. But I think that they're doing everything to just nip this in the bud. All right. Father Tom Williams, thanks so much. Thank you, Katie.